This week's Student Athlete Spotlight profiles lacrosse players Meg and Molly Lynch, one of four sets of sisters on Sonia LaMonica's team along with the Thornton siblings, Hobbs twins, and Liucci twins. That wasn't necessarily part of a recruiting plan, but I will say I think there's something to be said for siblings who've grown up playing together. There is just an innate connection and you know we hope to we hope to be able to capitalize on that a little bit. Being three years apart and going to different high schools, this is the first time the Lynch sisters have been teammates, but they are making the most of the opportunity. Meg, a senior, is in her second season as a starting defender, while Molly is a freshman attacker. It's really exciting to play with Megan because we both play opposite positions, so it brings a big competitiveness to the field, and we like to bicker and go up against each other joke around with it, but also she challenges me every day to be a better player. Make someone that's hard not to have out there because she just, she outworks people. She's obviously um, a super athletic player, um, which runs in the family. And um, you know, she's tenacious and she, she works her butt off. Molly's got a hard nose to the cage. She's somebody that, you know, you don't always see a lot of youngsters and freshmen come in with the confidence to take anybody on 1v1, about Molly showing that she's capable and she wants to showcase what she can do. Molly and Meg's older brother Mike showcased what he could do for Sean Natalin's Towson teams from 2014 to 2017 as a two-time All-CAA midfielder. With his sisters now donning the black and gold, the Lynch legacy has become a unique piece of Tiger lacrosse. We never really talked about my sisters following my footsteps kind of, you know. And then I, you know, they supported me when I played. You know, they, I mean, I remember after games they had my jerseys on and whatnot. And then my sister was getting recruited. Megan, she was a senior in high school. She came, and then Molly kind of followed her footsteps. But it wasn't ever really like a plan. My brother's number 27, so when I was coming in, number 27 was available for me to be number 27. And my mom was like, "You need to be number 27 because all my clothes are have 27 on them." And so I was 27, Michael's 27, maybe Molly will become 27 after this year. <laughs> she says no.